Hey guys, I know we talk a lot about stuff that adults can do, but guess what? We're gonna break down a list of kid-friendly activities available here in the Coeur d'Alene area, so stay tuned. everybody, Lindsay here, your favorite local real estate agent, and we're going to break down some activities for kids of all ages here in our community in North Idaho and even a couple over in Spokane. And uh, we're going to give you some ideas for what to do uh, on a rainy day or just while you're here visiting. But before we get into that, make sure to like and subscribe and, um, you know, give me a call, give me a shout out in the comments if you've got any um, questions um, or other ideas that I don't go over. And I'd be happy to touch base with you about stuff. I get this question asked of me all the time. Of course, nearly half of the people I work with as a real estate agent have kids of some age um, or, or some activity level. And I wanna break down some, uh, some ideas for kid-friendly activities here in our area for those that are looking for some ideas. So let's get into it. Okay, first and foremost, um, I was a child of the 80s, so I grew up playing outside. And I am of the camp that, uh, you know, getting kids outside, getting kids playing in nature, getting kids running around, breaking a sweat is uh, probably one of the best things that kids could do. It's great for development and it's also really great because then when they come home later and they're tired, they sleep really well, right? So we have a ton of city parks here in our community. Now in Coeur d'Alene specifically, we've got uh, the city park downtown, um, which has got this amazing wooden play structure. Um, I am an adult and I, every time I pass by it, it transforms me, takes me back to when I was a kid and I'm like, you know what? If I was a kid, I'd be on that playground. So I know kids enjoy that. Um, it's one of the big draws of our community and it's right next to the beach too. It's got these great views of the lake. Um, we have a bunch of events in that park as well. So it's a great gathering space. Now we've also got McEwen Park, um, which is the newest park in downtown Coeur d'Alene. Now this one's a little bit more modern. Um, there's a splash pad at that park. There's a turf, a uh, green turf year round and lots of really exciting, fun um, uh, playground equipment. Um, and then we've got basketball courts and tennis courts there as well. Um, and then also right on the edge of McEwen Park is Tubbs Hill, which is a multi-acre um, nature preserve, essentially here in the middle of Coeur d'Alene with, um, with trails around it that are uh, suitable for all ages and all abilities. Um, so it's great in the, in the springtime, especially when things begin to thaw out, um, and then also in the summertime. Now you can't go on Tubbs Hill in the summertime without seeing throngs of kids and teenagers hanging out, jumping off rocks, lounging on the beaches, and, and just swimming in and around Tubbs Hill. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing attraction that our city has, and especially for a little bit, uh, kids who are a little older and more independent, it's an awesome gathering spot for them and their friends in the summertime. So also, um, we've also got a couple of other parks, Cherry Hill and Bluegrass Park, and a number of the neighborhoods in and around our community, especially the larger developments like Coeur d'Alene Place and the Landings, they've also got their own parks in and around their neighborhoods. So take advantage of the parks. Um, they're great ways to get kids outside. The other thing that we've got up here um, is Silverwood. It is the largest uh, amusement park in the Pacific Northwest, and it's located in Athol of all places, but it's because they've got this space. Now, for kids who are young, they've got some, some uh, gentle rides, I guess you could say, some kid, small kid-friendly rides um, that they can do on their own or with adults. And then you've also got the rides that are suitable for older kids and kids looking for a little bit of an adrenaline rush. You've got all sorts of roller coasters and swings and um, rides that, that'll get you screaming. Now, the great thing about Silverwood too is in the summertime, um, it's a huge draw for kids because they've got a water park 
um, all sorts of slides, lazy rivers. It's great for parents too because you can get out, um, lounge in the sun and kind of get a pool experience. Unfortunately, one thing that North Idaho doesn't have, which I grew up with in Southern Idaho, is a lot of municipal pools um, where you can kind of just lounge at the edge of the pool and, and get a snack and, and be in this, in this area where you've got lifeguards and um, it's a little bit more controlled. Um, Silverwood offers that in their water park in the summer times. And then also in the month of October, for those kids that like haunted houses and enjoy a little bit of a scarier theme, Silverwood does a thing called Scarywood in the evenings where they turn the park into a massive multi-haunted uh, house scenario um, with a bunch of different themes and it's a lot of fun especially for older kids and especially for adults who get to take their older kids there too. So next thing that we have on the list for kid-friendly activities especially in the summertime which uh, is half the reason we all live here is the summertime the beaches are amazing we've got beaches at the city park we've got beaches uh, that kind of wrap around NIC down the Spokane River you've got Honeysuckle Beach and you've got Sandpoint City Beach as well these are amazing opportunities to get out on the water enjoy the lakes that mean so much to us get some sun play in the sand um, it's a great uh, experience in the summertime and I know a lot of parents and a lot of kids love playing in the water. So next activity that we've got or the next thing available for kids, um, especially from a recreational standpoint, is the Centennial Trail. Again, like I said, I grew up outdoors and I think that riding your bike or getting on a longboard or a skateboard or your rollerblades or your skates or whatever it might be, but just having that Centennial Trail along the lake um, can be a great recreational opportunity. Are you a new mom who's got kids in strollers? Well, this is a great uh, spot to get out and walk and get some fresh air without having to worry about traffic either. It's a miles long trail between Coeur d'Alene and Spokane and you may not necessarily go all the way to Spokane but there's sections here in Coeur d'Alene especially around uh, Coeur d'Alene Lake Drive and Silver Beach that offer amazing views while being able to get out and recreate and get some fresh air. The other thing that we have up here is a place called Triple Play. I know a lot of parents and a lot of kids love Triple Play. They've got an indoor water park, they've got an arcade, they've got laser tag, they've got a ropes course, they've got bowling, they've got go-karts. I mean, what more could a kid ask for? And if you're traveling to this area and you don't live here full time, there is a hotel attached to Triple Play that allows you to stay and play. So don't forget about Triple Play, um, especially on a rainy day or maybe in the winter time um, when, when there's not a lot of outdoor options. This gives you a lot of things to do indoors. So next thing on the list, um, and we've kind of explored this in, a, in one of our videos, is Silver Mountain Water Park. Now, again, I'm talking about not just activities here in North Idaho. We've got a couple of things in and around the region that are really easy to get to. Silver Mountain um, not only offers skiing, but they have an amazing indoor water park. Um, slides, lazy rivers, hot tubs, all sorts of play structures for kids and um, a wave pool. Um, it's, it's an awesome experience for kids. Again, this is another great kind of uh, fall time, winter time, springtime activity. Um, once the weather gets nice, obviously you wanna be outdoors, but if you need to be indoors, this is a great place and it's 30 minutes away, just east of town. Next on the list um, would be our seasonal events. Now, uh, you know, in the summertime, obviously spring and summer, everyone wants to be outdoors. That's just what we do in North Idaho. We've got uh, farmer's markets, we've got the Santa Cruz, we've got the ice rink. We've done the Santa Cruz and the ice rink in one of our previous videos and kids love that stuff. Um, we've got parades. There's, you know, St. Patty's Day Parade, the 4th of July Parade. Um, there's the firework shows that we put on downtown for the 4th of July. And then also at Christmas time, they do a lighting ceremony with a massive firework show down at the resort. That's a huge draw. Thousands of people come out, come out for these uh, firework shows and the kids love them and they're great family activities. Um, so then the next thing we have is the petting zoo. Now this is not something I've been to before. I've actually driven by it a number of times and I keep telling myself I'm gonna go to it. I was looking it up on Google and they've got all sorts of pictures of 
animals, pigs, goats, you know, hedgehogs, um, all sorts of, of, of fun little animals that they've got at this indoor petting zoo called the Big Red Barn. That's in North Coeur d'Alene on Government Way. That's also a great inclement weather, you know, off-season activity. So if your kids love animals, make sure to get them there. Okay, next thing um, that we've got, which is kind of a revitalization of old-timey Coeur d'Alene, is the carousel. There's a carousel down by the down by the fort grounds in the city park that they revi revamped. It was an old carousel. They refurbished it. They rebuilt the center. They they brought it back to life, and um, it's just a great kind of. Uh, throwback activity, um, especially for younger kids and adults who are kids at heart. So make sure to check out the carousel. It operates, um, I think, mostly in the spring and the summertime and in, in, in kind of the high season for tourism. Um, but check it out. Um, that's always a cool thing to, to kind of uh, just at least see one time. So next thing I would mention too is, like I said, um, we've got some regional activities over in Spokane. There's a number of uh, laser tag and trampoline parks, like Flying Squirrel. I know that trampoline parks have become incredibly popular over the last handful of years because they're a great indoor activity, they're great exercise, they're pretty kid-friendly, they're padded, so no one's really getting hurt. You can kind of go crazy um, like you can't at home. You know, you can't jump off the second floor banister onto your couch. Um, but you can jump into the foam pit at the, at the Flying Squirrel. So that's a great indoor activity. Um, and then a couple other things to, um, to kind of wrap it up. The Mobius Center in Spokane is an amazing kind of science-based uh, discovery center um, that's, that's really good for kids that enjoy um, you know, nature and science. It's a hands-on experience. So uh, that's over in Spokane. Again, these are about 30 minutes west of us, um, kind of the, a perk of being in a small town but having all this stuff regionally for us. And then last but certainly not least is the Croc Center. The Croc Center is a kind of hybrid activity center here in town. Um, they have a gym, gym and gym memberships, um, open court basketball. They've got a, a children's theater. Um, and then they also have a, a play area for kids, a swimming area for kids and um, uh, swimming lessons. Uh, so there's a lot of things to do at the Croc Center. They cater to families, they cater to kids, they cater to health and recreation and, and just community development. So the Croc Center is also a great place to take kids um, for recreation. So thank you for watching. I know we went over a number of ideas of kid-friendly activities. If you have any activities that I didn't mention that would be beneficial for people to know, make sure to put them in the comments. I wanna share that stuff. These videos evolve and so the more I know, the more I can share. Now also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have questions about this area or you need help finding activities for your kids, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will point you in the right direction. Thank you for joining me today and we'll see you next time.